Now, continuing with constraint two, with the restrictions I already found for h and the new point I already found based on those h values, I'm gonna compute the shadow price for constraint two. So, to compute shadow price, I'm gonna plug in h equals one. So my new point will be three minus one third, comma, five plus five ninths. This is eight thirds, comma, 59th. Okay. Now I want to find the value of the objective function at this point. So I'm going to plug it in. Okay. This gives me a value of 82 thirds or approximately 27.33. Okay. Now, once I've plugged in h equals 1 and found the value of the objective function, I'm going to subtract from this the original value of the objective function, which is the 27. So my shadow price will be the 27 and a third minus the 27, or one third. Meaning that if I increase this 21 to 22, if I go up by one, my profit will go up by a third of a dollar, or 0.33. If I increase it by 10, or excuse me, 10 is not allowed. If I increase it by 5, which is in the allowed range for H, my profit will go up by 5 times a third, or 5 thirds. I can also go down. If I decrease it by 3, which is in the allowed range of H, my profit will go down by 3 times a third, or it will go down a dollar. So once you have the shadow price, you can tell what will happen to profit for any value of H in the allowed range.